Thank you for downloading this Finance with Excel video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the solver for a Mac. Now, starting in 2011 version of Excel for a Mac going forward, the solver is included. And if you don't see the solver, or if you don't have the solver, you just click go to help, and then um, you will just need to search for updates. And um, and then um, check. So you go check for updates, and then uh, run all your updates, and then it should be there. If it's if for some reason it's not. Other than that, you go to tools, <clears throat> go to add-ins, and then you make sure you click this solver.xlam button. You click OK, and then it's uh, opening the solver. It's putting it in there. And so now we see that we now have here have a solver function. So you see I've opened up the retirement workbook that we created with the PC and we want to uh, we want to solve this uh, this function for example for the percent of income saved. Let's say we only want to save 5% of our income. Uh, we're, we don't have we don't have enough for our retirement goals in this particular case. So we want to use the solver. So we click solver and then it comes up here and it says set objective and we want to set objective uh, D4 and then equal to a value of zero by changing cells uh, by just changing cell B4 so it's already there and then we just click solve and it'll think for a second And it brings us back our solver solution. So it says, you know, it found an it found an answer. So keep solver solution. Click OK. So to assign a solver to a macro, we will then use uh, we will just do it the, the exact same process. So if we go to our developer tab and <clears throat> we go to our VBA editor, we click here. So if, once we come to our VBA editor, we have to go to tools references and then we have to make sure that we click the solver button so that it can access all of the solver references and then we click OK. Now we just come back here, go to our developer tab, hit record, we'll call this solve, click OK and then now it's recording everything that we're going to do. So we're just going to go to data, solver and we're going to run the exact same solving formula that we just barely ran so we'll hit solve And it found a solution, we click OK, and then we go back to our developer tab and we stop recording. Now we insert a button, <clears throat> we'll put this button right here, and we'll assign solve to it, click OK. We can relabel this button um, solver. And now if we click this solve button, so let's say let's change this input to 5%, and now if we click this solve button, it'll start thinking. And then it'll find a solution for us. We keep the solver solution. We click OK. And voila, we've assigned it to a macro. The last thing I will show you uh, here is, um, is how to do uh, conditional formatting. So to do conditional formatting, so we want this cell right here. So let's say we're only going to do 5%, right? So we don't have enough. So we want if, if this cell, which is the expected cash at retirement, is less than the cash needed at retirement, we want red. If it's greater, we want green, just like we've done um, previously. To do that, we just simply click on the cell. We go to the Home tab. We click on Conditional Formatting. And then we go to Highlight Cell Rules Greater Than. Uh, this particular cell with and we want them to be green and then we click OK and then we add another rule highlight cell rules less than um, this particular cell with uh, and we want to fill them with red and we click OK and now we have conditional formatting so once we solve this um, it should <clears throat> Uh, we can keep a solver solution. You can tell it goes it goes away because it's it, it found something is exactly equal to. If we do 10% here, then um, it's green. If we do 5%, then it's red. So we've done conditional formatting. So now um, that's all we have. Thanks.